Mohamed Khalil coming goes all the way from Oslo in Norway 28 years of age 170 centimeters tall this fight taking place at 69 kilograms he holds a professional record of 64 fights with 40 victories 20 losses and four draws he is a two-time Norwegian Muay Thai champion now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Falikit Lukmahat Hat. His former name, people might know him as Papayap Kwai Tong Jim. His real name, of course, is Somchai Tungong. 28 years of age, 174 centimeters tall from Ratchaburi province. Has a total of 202 fights, 161 victories, 36 losses, and 5 draws. Of course, for those who may have seen Papayap Kwai Tong Jim, he's... Um, was very famous at Mochip State Stadium a few years ago, and he's fought, fought some left way as well. And it shows by his uh, training partner. He's been training with um, Tan Min Lat, who we'll see later on tonight take on Teng Lin Sijay Sai Rul. So he's very familiar with the left way fans, with the fans of Myanmar, that is. And also the fact that he won't be wearing gloves. <laughs> and uh, I think that suits him just fine. Of course, Muhammad Khalil, we've seen here, him here in uh, Thai fight before. This is his fourth fight. Last three haven't been successful, so maybe he's looking for his first victory here tonight in Cease again. Here we go. Round one. A very slow paced start, you could say, from the two fighters, but I don't think it will last for long. Going with a huge right hand already, or a huge left hand already by Likit. Yeah. Khalil also headhunting with that right hand. Here comes Farlikit, oh my goodness. Jumping left kick, but... Just a slip there though for Khalil. Just a slip, Khalil. yes. Kit still continues to move forward. It seems like it's a style that he absolutely loves. Another good left hand there, and a left hook from Farlikit, and another left hook. Enjoying himself in there. Yeah, it seems like whenever Khalil wants to move forward, he wants to touch oh, the control. And no. there's the first knockdown of the fight, and I think that's it. That could be it. If Mohamed Khalil can't, can't get up, it'd be a it's knockdown a, victory. It's a, he does. crumpled him with that left hand. My goodness, you blink oh, once and you miss it, and that's exactly what happened there. Dangerous times here. That left hand is like a piston. More left hands coming in there for Farlikin. Mohamed Khalil is still fighting back. Such heart, such determination from the oh, Turkish warrior. Oh, left that time. Knees to the body. Khalil still on wobbly legs, taking, taking deep breaths in. You've got to admire the heart of Muhammad Khalil, but is he doing the right thing by constantly moving forward? Takes the voice shots to the shin there. Balikin with extraordinary composure in that exchange there. Another left hand to the body that time from Balikin. Oh, and it's left hand there. Could, Acknowledged by Balikin as well. Could Balikin be tired right now? You can see him taking some very heavy breaths. Good kick to the body again from Khalil. Nice knee there from Balikin, who's on the back foot right now. Just taking his time, isn't he? Waiting for another opening. But Khalil's done great. There's that left hand again. Khalil going in with an elbow recklessly. Takes a knee to the body as well from Balikin. Balikin was more on the back foot now, but maybe he's just taking his time, just taking his breath. He started off very aggressively. Good hands there for Balikin, but Kevin, I think you're right. I think Carly, look at, look at, look at the, the, the way that he's throwing those hands. It's completely different to what we saw earlier. Oh, but now it goes. And that's, this, it. that's, that's it. it. That's it. The it's referee calls it. I'll have to see a highlight of that. I didn't exactly see what connected with him. Was it another left hand? So, oh Absolutely, so but it's fair to say that Khalil definitely saw a problem early on. The KO shot. See, it's, I thought it deflected off the arm of Khalil. Was it the knee that did no? Not quite sure what happened there. Maybe the problem with the shoulder. Let's have a look once again. I saw him holding onto the shoulder. Oh, well, that was earlier. Do you think it was a delayed reaction from that initial, from the initial shot? I there? think there may be some problems with the shoulders. You can see him when, oh. when, when he went down. He started pointing to it. Could be a broken nose with that shot as well. Yeah, it looks like he's rebroken. But this is the shot that finished him off. I wonder if it was just behind the ear and just 
destroyed his equilibrium. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. And the needs to the buddy for good measure. But yeah, he keeps showing the replay of that uppercut. Oh, and I'm guessing that is where he's rebroken the nose. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, I mean. it's a mess right now. The winner! Heba Sun Heng Chao Mung Fa Le Kid Lu Ma Ha Cha! สุดยอดสุดยอดเส้นนั้นต่อเลยครับว่าคู่ต่อสู้